What's up guys, it's Luke here from 2029C and I'm joined by Liam from 1082R. And today we're going to be doing a match analysis of the Mall Signature event QF4-1. And in this match, we have the Red Alliance uh, 1010W and 2775V playing against the Blue Alliance 886W and 10009A. And something interesting about this match is this match, Red actually got upsetted by the Blue Alliance here. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see, I mean, how Blue Alliance pulled that off, right? Yeah, for sure. So you can see uh, Red, both both teams on the Red Alliance get off to a good start with filling up their goals really quickly. Yeah, but I mean, mm -hmm. uh, as you'll see throughout the match, they start to lose that advantage, letting, making small mistakes, which uh, ultimately uh, made them lose the match. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, both of these Red Alliances have really good Autominus is giving them a huge advantage at the start, right? They got the Autominus bonus and they filled up their goals, right? So, I mean, that just leaves them in a, t in a spot where all they have to do is just camp the corner and they can win the match. But one mistake that they made here, which could like potentially cost them the match if they didn't fix it in time, was that Tencent W here didn't pass the go off to 275E. What do you think? Uh, yeah, for sure. So if if Tintin W was able to pass the goal over to two seven seven five V, then uh, Jar could have protected the goal, and that would have allowed them to, before the Blue Alliance uh, got possession of that uh, unfilled mobile goal, would have allowed Tintin W to actually get that goal and start filling it up with red rings, which would have brought back some points. Yeah, absolutely. So let me go back a little bit and just show you exactly what we're talking about, right? So I mean, at the time of like. A minute 20 right they're both goals are filled i mean they're ready for this pass off and what he should be what tenzin w should be doing here is just passing off that goal so that the sammy could protect both of these mobile goals right in that corner and if they did that a little bit earlier right they would have gotten control of uh this goal here and that would have you know turned this tides of this game and as you can see later on even we're going to skip a little bit forward more and this ultimately causes them to lose because towards the end here where tenzin w wanted to you know, like, this is around 10 seconds here, where Tintin W wanted to put that uh, goal, that filled goal into that positive corner, and they were just blocked off, right? So I feel like it's a lot safer of an option if you if you just, you know, handed that goal over earlier, so then you wouldn't really be taking these big risks, right? Yeah, I think they were just too tunnel visioned on trying to get the wall stakes, the wall stakes mm -hmm. and then that cost them the goal. Really what they should have done is pick the goal up, maybe not even filled it, but then that gives them security knowing that they have possession of that goal and then they could do other things like fill the wall stakes or even fill up that mobile goal. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, seeing just how this match played out, right? Uh, you can totally fit like two mobile goals into the corner, no problem, and still defend it, right? Because, I mean, they do have the arm and that like can significantly increase like the difficulty of the your opponents from getting your goals, right? So, I mean, just knowing that they should have just put two goals in the corner, right? Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. I think the takeaway is just, I mean, I mean, if you have a competent teammate, then don't be scared to, I mean, it's a team game after all at the end of the day, so don't be scared to just hand the goal off to them, and that allows you to be more aggressive and play for more points. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, a single play can turn the, turn the tides of this game, as we've seen multiple times at all, where a team could just push a full goal into the negative corner and instantly turn the tides of the match, right? Absolutely. Mm hmm Yeah. So I think that concludes it for this match. And thank you, Liam, for hosting with me. If you guys want to see more, just put it down in the comments. All right, thank you.